What's up my dudes, Valk here. And I know this is a video I've already made twice in the past, but I get asked so much how to damage farm X or Y unit or how to damage farm, period, that I, this is going to be the third video on this that I make, and I imagine I'm going to have to keep making this at a point where I find it kind of funny. Uh, but the channel has been blowing up. There's a whole bunch of new players coming to AWTD, so I want to make sure that you guys have the absolute ease of doing this so you guys can have the best experience and you guys are able to get the damage grind up as fast as possible, essentially. So, if you guys don't know what damage grinding is, basically, whenever you're trying to evo a unit, you guys can see there is a damage requirement for evoing a unit. I have most damage requirements done, uh, but there's a damage requirement for evoing and basically any unit you want, right? And whenever you go to evo a unit, you're going to need to grind damage. So, I want to show you guys today how I grind damage, and I'm going to be using Guts, because Guts, I do believe, is getting an Evo. I don't know 100%, but I imagine he's getting an Evo coming on the Friday update. I could be wrong, and seeing as I'm a massive Berserk fan, Guts is one of my favorite characters. I do want to grind more damage on him. I currently have 20 billion damage. Um, I have a max limit broken, some pretty good modifiles, so I want to go ahead and grind damage on him and basically see what I can get. So here, the very first thing you're going to want to look at whenever you're grinding damage is what categories is this unit on? What categories can I potentially use as a leader? Frantic Warrior, while a decent category, really does not have a whole lot of... Um, it really doesn't have a whole lot of leaders. It's kind of an iffy category whenever it comes to leaders. You can see there's not a whole lot going on with this category. So we're probably not going to use Frantic Warrior. Demon Hunter, more the same. Demon Hunter is actually a pretty good category. But you can see here, I believe the leader is either you or you or... Which one is it? It's you. There's only a 90% lead. We're looking for a 120 lead to get as much attack as possible. That's obviously not going to do it. So now we go to Hunter's Instinct. Hunter Instinct's lead is Adorante. Adorante is a 110 lead with cost minus 10%. That's pretty good. That's so far the best lead we have. Um, Revenger. I gotta remember who actually leads Revenger. Uh, uh, this is... <laughs> I don't remember who leads this category. Um, Grimmy, your Determined Dreamer, your Ninja Warrior. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't know which one of these lead Revenger. I do know it has a lead. I just don't remember which one does it. Oh, Dobby. Yeah, Dobby's only 90% lead. Obviously not good enough. So now we go to Unbreakable Fighter. Unbreakable Fighter. The lead here is him. Only 100% lead. We don't want that. We want uh, we want something a little bit higher. So now we're down to Savior of the Earth and Swordmaster. Swordmaster. The lead, obviously, is Mihawk. Falcon Eye. 120 lead. Minus 10% SPA. This is a really, really good lead. And then we also have Savior of the Earth, which Savior of the Earth lead, I believe, is MASH. MASH is a 70 lead. So out of all these lead options we have, the best one is Mihawk. So now we're going to go ahead and pick Mihawk as our lead. Go ahead, come here, grab Mihawk. Now you can see Sword Leader, Sword Master category, attack 120%, SPA minus 10%. So now we're going to just focus on mostly stunning the enemy up. So we're going to get here, we're going to grab a good stun unit in red hair. We're going to come here, we're going to grab a Dark Flame Lover, who's going to be another good one. We do want to clear the categories so we can pull up everybody. And then we're going to come here, we're going to grab Kujaku Demon. Kujaku Demon doesn't stun, but he provides the spare. Now what the spare does, is you guys can see, enemies take more damage by 1.3 times percent and reduce enemy speed by 50%. So it slows them and it makes them take more damage, which is going to be really good for us. And then we want to bring our idol. That way we have money to go ahead and fund this team. And now we're going to go ahead and this is basically going to be the next part of it. So what comes up next? You're going to go over here to the teleport room. You're going to go over here and get ready to go and do a run on something. And you're going to look at this type chart. So now we're going to type in dark. That way we can bring in dark swordsman, guts. And we can see red here is type effective against yellow, right? So if you're running yellow, you want to go to purple. You're running purple, you want to go do green. You want to go into green, you want to do blue, etc. Blue to red. But Guts is red, and we're trying to grind damage on Guts. So we're going to go from red to yellow. And because of that, we're going to do in yellow orb stage. Now keep in mind, he's at about not exactly 20 billion damage right now, but really close to it to the point where we can count as 20 billion. We're going to go ahead and do insane. That way the enemies can ramp up faster uh, just to make it a little bit faster. But you can also run normal to try to get as much damage as possible out of it. Um, these are kind of like the two things you really want to look for for that. And now your whole goal is to just stall. Is basically stall as long as possible. Try to survive as long as possible. Delay the enemies with stuns. You don't have to use the units I'm using. 
you just have to use stuns you have to use any type of stuns any type of slows any type of anything any damage buffs to them you could bring like i could have brought all might for the hero buff uh, i could bring all might as well so i can get his attack even higher um i just don't really need the all might buff but yeah you guys get the idea so we're gonna go here we're gonna put our oshi here and we're gonna do idle buff here here and then we're going to um put mihawk actually right here because mihawk's going to be able to take out a lot of early waves and he's going to be able to reach air very very quickly so we're going to go ahead and put auto skip on we want to get mihawk up to where he hits air before we start focusing on money so we're just going to leave this up for the time being mihawk being a green obviously isn't ideal uh but he's going to do good enough here once he gets his aoe where he should be good to work on oshi at that point our idol um you guys can see I played a lot of anime adventures, right? So here, now he's hill. He's full AoE. So now we can buy food for him. And we can start working on our idol. Now we want to get idol up. Um, now that we have full AoE covered. And he's pretty much going to just kind of dumpster on everything. Until basically we are able to get our guts up and running. And then once we get... We don't... Like, you really don't need to get guts up that early. Like, I could probably put, put getting guts up off for a while. Um, just to be able to basically get all the support up because the support's a little bit more important than actually Guts himself because like I said, you want to try to stall as far as long as possible and the only realistic way you're going to be able to do that in a, uh, you know, decent time frame is by just stalling or getting all the uh, supports up because once you have all the supports up and you're delaying the enemy as much as possible then you can start sort of racking up damage because you really don't get that much damage in these early waves there's not a real big like point in focusing super early on on that. You guys can see I'm just stacking attack because like I said, once they push past my units here, uh, it's kind of game over. And I don't really need to stall much longer than that. So I'm basically just stacking the hell out of attack right now at this point. And just picking attack anytime I can pick a buff. So we do this. We're full AoE now. Uh, we want to get all the Shanks' maxed out before we start focusing on the next character. And once the Shanks are all maxed out, because you can see Shanks is on a really good attack stat. Um, he's going to be able to pretty much carry for quite a while. So we don't have to worry about Mihawk basically doing everything. Um, and we're able to go ahead and get all this stuff down. Because like I said, the whole goal is to just stall. Is stall the enemy as long as possible. That way we can last as long as we need to, to get Guts a ton of damage. Uh, you can see, I get damage farming for Guts, but he's not even on the ground yet. Because like I said, it doesn't matter until you get way later on in the run. That's whenever it's going to matter that you have Guts on the ground. Because you just don't get a whole lot of damage early on in the run. Um, there's no point in, like, you're not going to have to fight over 30 million damage or whatever it is. Because you're going, the damage is going to rack up very quickly once you actually have all the supports up. And you can stall them and make them clump up. So now that we have all three Shanks's up, this is why Shanks is so invaluable. Uh, I go ahead, hit this, hit auto ability for his time stop, and then we're going to wait in around 30 seconds, which is about now, we're going to hit the next one, and we're going to cycle them. So they're able to stall even longer. Do that, go ahead, and then we're going to go ahead and pick a Dark Flame Lover up. We're going to put Dark Flame Lover down right here. Dark Flame Lover is going to apply charm. We're going to pick up a Kujaku Demon. We're going to put a Kujaku Demon down right here. And then we're going to start putting Dark Flame Lovers down this pathway. That way they can stall even longer. If enemies do happen to get by, uh, we're going to be able to stall them that much more. So yeah, this is just basically the stall fest now with the team. We're just going to put down a bunch of these guys. That way they can just stall even more. And because like I said, once the enemies get by, it's pretty much over. We don't have any other thing. We could have brought like Witch Knight to get the reset, but... It's not that big of a deal. You can just do multiple runs. It, I know a lot of people are going to be trying to like farm damage as quick as possible and try to do it all in one run, which the easiest way to do this is to do this with multiple people because then you guys can like split off to what stalls you're bringing. Like different people can bring different stall units so you can last that much longer. But yeah. So now we're going to do this. We're going to put another Kujaku unit right back here. And now we're pretty much just chilling here. Uh, we're going to pick damage again because like I said, it's all about getting Guts' damage as high as possible. And stalling the hell out of the enemy, getting them to clump up, getting them to just basically stack up. That way we can go ahead and do that. So now we're going to start putting our guts down. Finally, you guys are going to be like, I thought this was a damage farm for guts. Why isn't guts here? Uh, he's finally here. The big man is finally down. So we're going to put all five down. I believe he has a place limit of five. And then we're going to start maxing them out. You guys can see we're going to make them focus last. 
Uh, the reason we want to make him focus last is because he has a line. Let me zoom out. That's a really annoying noise. Uh, he has a line, so him focusing last is going to make it so he's always targeting the thing in front of him. And just guaranteeing that he does a lot of damage. You guys can see how fast they get the damage up too, by the way. Um, this is why I was not worried about it at all. Actually, I want to make the front guys focus first. Yeah, let me make them focus first. Uh, just to make life a little bit easier. But you guys can see their damage racking up already. They're at 10 million in the back because they're the first ones I upgraded. And now that everything's down, I should be able to... Yeah, finish up maxing Mihawk. And now we just kind of wait, right? Now we're kind of just going to wait. Uh, Mihawk has one more upgrade because Mihawk is very strong. He's a good unit. Um, he has a ton of attack, which is cool. I do like Mihawk. I think Mihawk's pretty good, but I mostly like him because Jetstream scan skin. I'm not going to lie. Jetstream Sam is so sick. There used to be actually a leaderboard unit for Jetstream. No, it was the uh, Christmas Secret Rare unit. Uh, OG players have it. Um, there's a Christmas Secret Rare unit for Jetstream Sam. Not a very good unit. Absolutely awful. But... It's cool, because it's stretching the sand. So you can see 7 million attack stat. Pretty dope, because we keep picking the uh, attack upgrade on the infinite. So yeah. Now we're just going to just make sure our units are nice and fed. And you guys can see the uh, the total damage going up very quickly. Um, they should reach a couple billion each. And this is kind of basically all we're waiting on now. This is it. Uh, I could increase the range by picking the range buff. Uh, but I think it's better just to full send the attack. Just give them more attack. That way they can trigger the superpower bonus. And that way they can just farm more damage. Alright, so now we play the waiting game. Uh, we should only be surviving like 10 more waves. Tops. I don't see it going really beyond that too much. It could go beyond that, but I don't see that really happening. Um, it should be done pretty soon. To be honest. So, yeah. Yeah. That's basically all she wrote to this. This is it, and then whenever we leave, I'll show you guys exactly how much damage we farmed up during the run. You can see we're at 160 million so far. Um, like I said, you could bring, like I could have brought All Might to probably get him to 800k. It probably would have been a better pick than like Dark Flame Lover. Uh, that way he's able to rack up even more damage, but I just want a Dark Flame Lover for more stuns. That way we can stun them up even longer. Like, I could have brought All Might, to be honest. In all honesty, All Might probably is the better selection here. That way I can get the 800k on, off rip, and then he gets even more damage off of hit, picking this attack bonus from the infinite. But, I'm just putting this together to kind of show you guys and give you guys an idea of exactly what it is. And exactly how you farm damage in this game. Because I know there's going to be quite a few of you guys actually struggling with this. Um, I know whenever I first started farming damage was a massive struggle for me. So I want to make sure you guys have a good idea of how to do it. And this is kind of a two birds, one stone situation where you're able to farm orbs at the same time you're farming damage. Because you can see now how they're stalling up. They're getting stunned. They're getting locked up at this one spot right in front of the spawn. So they're able to like kind of just pile up and your guts are able to hit a whole bunch at once. So you can see the damage just going through the roof now. Which is why I said don't worry about placing the unit you want to damage farm right away. Uh, you want to mostly just make sure that you have the security to get into the end. Like to get to the end of the stage. Or to get to like the end game, the higher levels, the ways. Before you actually start farming damage on the units. You can see they're at one bill now, one bill each. Uh, damage is just going through the roof now because there's so many units just stacked up, just stunned there. And they're just taking a second to actually die. So now that they're taking a second to die, Guts is basically just racking up so much damage. And he's able to just do a ton. How much are the guys on the back doing? They're at almost 2 billion each. Nice. Um, this, like I said, this is not the most optimal way to do this. There's definitely better ways. Like I said, you can have All Might for even more damage. All Might would probably make it so I'd, I'd probably be at like 3 billion each right now for these units. Um, All Might would definitely make a huge difference. I think All Might would have been a better option than Dark Flame Lover, but I wouldn't have been able to stack them up and stun them all up as easily as I'm doing now to where I'm at almost 3 billion damage a unit, and there's 5 of them, so this is like, what, 15 billion damage a run? If they all hit 3 billion, which I think they will. I think 3 billion for all of them is pretty... is a pretty reasonable amount, because like I said, there's 5 of them total. Um, how's the one in the middle doing? Yeah, he's at 4 billion. Yeah, they're all getting up there. So yeah, this is basically how you farm damage, guys. It's uh, not hard, you just need to have the right units. Kujaku is very easy to get, Dark Flame Lover is very easy to get. Uh, the only unit I have here, other than obviously the Evo Mihawk, uh, because he's the leader, 
But the only unit I have here that would be very hard to get for newer players is Shanks. Uh, Shanks LR Plus is really, really good. So now that we did that, remember we started that, we went into that with about 20 million or 20 billion damage on Guts. How many, how much damage did we get doing a proper damage run with a proper setup and having all this stuff going? How much damage did we get on Guts is the real question. And you guys are going to be shocked by it. exactly. I, I imagine it's going to be around 15 to about like 18 billion. I imagine it's going to be almost double what I already had because um, I did a proper run for once. Normally before I was just farming orbs by doing, you know, different ones. But let's go ahead. Let's take a look now. Now that we've taken a look or now that we've ran that um, and now that we've grinded our damage, let's take a look at exactly how much damage he's at in total. And we can compare it to the 20 billion we started with. Uh, so we go here now. Now he's at 48 billion. So I did 28 billion that run, almost 20 million, 20 billion more than I had before, because it was a proper run with a proper setup, a proper leader, etc. Before I was using like Adarante as a lead just for fun, uh, but this was like a really proper setup. And now because of that, I was able to get all, more than double, almost 1.5 times the total damage I had on him before. Farming damage is easy. You just gotta know how to do it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any more questions in terms of farming damage. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.